This weather report brought to you by Australian Super, helping you prepare for a brighter retirement. Coles has been ordered to pay more than $11 million in fines for serious, deliberate and repeated misconduct towards suppliers. The federal court said the supermarket giant threatened to financially harm suppliers by withholding funds and demanding payments. The judge took into account that Coles admitted to the wrongdoing. So to finance and the stock market started this shortened trading week strongly. The All Ordinary is up by more than 100 points. Our dollar is buying 81 US cents and about 97 Japanese yen. The average petrol price is just under $1.17 a litre and the price is still going down as the cost of crude oil tumbles. Right now, here's Vicky. Well, Georgie, it was a beautiful morning in Sydney before those storms came through our west. It reached a top of 27 in the city, 30 in Blacktown and Parramatta and a warm 32 degrees in Campbelltown. There was quite a lot of storm activity around the state, but it was very hot in Burke with a top of 41 degrees there. Tomorrow, a trough when it will be in the east will deepen, causing with it showers and thunderstorms over Victoria and New South Wales. Around the country tomorrow, there will be storms and rain in Canberra a top of 28, 28 also in Melbourne. Around New South Wales, you'll need your umbrella tomorrow. There'll be a lot of storm activity. There's a chance of damaging winds, flash flooding and hail. With central New South Wales expected to be the hardest hit, there'll also be rain inland. There'll also be rain in Sydney, but it's likely to clear by around 11am. We'll have a burst of sunshine in the morning, but in the afternoon, there's a chance of thunderstorms. The pollen count will be low. Katoomba is heading for a top of 23 degrees, 30 in Penrith, 29 in Campbelltown and Liverpool and storms and 28 degrees in Gosford. Thankfully those storms will pretty much clear by Christmas Day though. It's likely to be warm and humid for most of the day, making it the hottest Christmas conditions in two years. A warm 28 in the city and 33 in our west. But you better swim nice and early because a cool change is expected in the afternoon, bringing with it light showers. The good news is they'll only last 20 to 40 minutes. Boxing Day will pretty much have the same weather pattern, warm in the morning, 28 in the city, 32 in the west. The temperatures will then drop slightly in the afternoon, but thankfully the yachts will be well on their way. That rain should clear by Saturday. The city is heading for a top of 24 degrees, but unfortunately the showers will return on Monday. It will be much the same in our west, 27 on Saturday and Sunday, but there will be more storm activity on Monday. So, Georgie, quite a lot of rain this week, but we mostly dry on Christmas Day, which is good news. It is good news. That's the day that counts, Vicky. Thank you very much. And that is Nine News for this Monday. Cameron Williams is up next with A Current Affair. I'm Georgie Gardner. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night.